thanks guys for showing up with me in the shop again. Uh, today I was out here just piddling around and decided, you know what, I need to repair one of the wood lathe tools that I had actually broke as I was uh, turning a bowl there a while back. And with this little piece right here broke off, you know, like I say, I was cleaning out the inside of a bowl and my tool rest got away from the inside a little bit because the tool rest can only go in there so far and then you have to, you know, it's a little bit, the, the, the secret to having your tool not rip out of your hand is to get it real close to your work. But if you get it uh, too far away from your work, it'll penetrate the inside of the bowl or grab the bowl inside of the bowl might grab, grab your tool and either break it off or rip it out of your hands and launch it into outer space wherever that might be so this is the this is the tool that I was using for doing some fine work on the inside of the bowl and it and it broke off and it's just nice nice square break and so I thought today well you know what um, got a few minutes here I'm gonna start uh, cleaning this up and make another tool have an old tool that I broke so again that used to look like that <laughs> except for with a handle on it and I started grinding this off on the grinder and I thought you know well maybe maybe the folks on YouTube might um, check this out and if they have any broken tools for their wood lathe um, there's no sense in throwing this away it's actually a, a pretty nice Pretty nice tool. I bought a set of these a while back, um, and just go ahead and just make it shorter, and it'll be just fine. So I'll get started, or actually start finishing up on this. not getting too hot if I do I have a little glass of a little uh, jar of water over here that I can cool off get the tool the tip of the tool in here if it gets gets really warm um, trick is you don't want to take a temper out of it uh, if it starts to turn if it starts to turn a little bit blue or black and blue that means you're getting too hot the grinding wheel up against against this face here and you start seeing sparks rolling off of the face of the tool then that means you're starting to develop a real good edge on this and it means you're also getting the flat edge across this uh, you're, you're getting the, the grinding wheel flat across the face of your of your tooling for on this tool it's the original shape that was on this and now I'm going to go over to the fine uh, grinder wheel side here and finish it off the other thing worth noting on these uh, when you're sharpening a tool is that uh, the very edge of this will start to turn up. There's a little bit of uh, material that are actually turn up. 
So if you rub your hand across the top of there, it grabs just a little bit. And that tells me that I've got a pretty good edge going on. And that's always been good enough for me uh, when it goes to turning a bowl. Um, I notice the shavings come off a lot, lot smoother. You get paper thin shavings that come off of here. Um, you know, when you're making a bowl, here's an example of some of the very fine shavings that come off of uh, a real sharp tool. Uh, real sharp to me, uh, anyway. I've always had good, good results, and that that uh, stuff is this very, very. Um, you can actually see through it. It gets so thin coming off of there when you're really into finishing off a, you know, finishing off a bowl. Um, you know, and after I get done, this is Heidi's yarn bowl I built for her out of a unique piece of, uh, well, it was an old burl, and a part of uh, a, a part of it was grown in as like maybe part of a root or something like that. But anyway, uh, her yarn comes out of here. But anyway, I, I wanted to explain <laughs> what that was. It's not a, it's not a bro break or anything like that. It's uh, something that was was turned in on purpose. That's for her yarn. She puts her yarn in here, and then the yarn that's feeding out will feed out through that hole. And then the as as the yarn is spooling off, it just kind of rattles around the bowl and and then just comes out through that hole. And then the yarn doesn't get away from her. Anyway, so uh, again, uh, what happened is I was I was tooling in here and removing the center out of a different bowl, not necessarily this bowl here. But uh, you know that I've never I've never actually broken off a tool on a wood lathe before. This is my first time, so it was a little bit of a surprise when it came off of there. Well, that piece that piece ended up breaking off, and it actually ended up inside the bowl. And through centrifugal force, it just held held the piece on the inside of the bowl. And then when I shut off the lathe. You know, then of course I, f I found this piece inside the, the bowl with a bunch of uh, shavings in there as well. But yeah, when you when you're working a working the inside of a bowl, it's, it's very difficult to get the fence in here. Uh, it's such an angle to where you're not right up next to your work. On the outside, it's no problem. You can get all around this bowl here on the outside um, and get very close to your very, very, you know, get real close to your work when you, that's a tool rest, obviously, and then, you know, when you, once you put your tool rest in, your tool will rest upon the top of this metal uh, rest here, and that's how you remove the material off of the, off the bowl. But uh, anyway, um, resurrected an old tool um, that normally would have found its way into the garbage can. Um, uh, it's not really a bad quality tool. It's not the top of the line by any small stretch, but you know uh, I've turned quite a bit with this so far and it's been working out real well. I actually have another one of these. It's, it's an older one. It came with a lathe that I got at an auction. And um, so I always have a couple of these. This is probably the most widely used used tool that I use for shaping uh, most of my stuff. Um, don't don't throw any of your old tools away. See if you can reman them, and uh, you know, keep them back on the shelf. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, uh, follow us. Appreciate it. Thanks.